The class at Boaz Middle School is building beds for people in the community who need them. Moy 31's Shosh Pedrosian spent some time at the middle school today to learn about the program, and even helped out herself. Here's one of the best students at Boaz Middle School are building. They tell me lessons like these pay off. I think it's good to give back to the kids that don't, aren't as fortunate as we might be. In our school system and maybe even in Boaz Middle School that don't have beds, which we don't know that, but they do and it could help them out. Students in the seventh grade STEM class tell me they're lucky to be in this class and not only to learn, but that they get to give back while doing so. That's probably what one of the biggest gifts one of the kids a kid would get. Boaz Middle School is working on the Sleep Tight program, where they are recognizing the need for basic things in their community, like beds. So far, the class has built five twin size beds for children in need, and their goal is 15 by the end of the semester. These kids have jumped on board with it. They've done a tremendous job. Uh, the last two beds that have been built have been built strictly by the students uh, with very little input from me. The students cut, measure, drill, and sand each bed. The STEM class is also working with their art class to design and decorate them. They tell me just a little decoration on one of these beds could brighten up any child's day. A seven year old who's getting a bed with Charlie Brown on it or Dr. Seuss and you know, to me, that's just like Christmas morning. So Right now, Boaz Middle School has raised enough money to buy mattresses and sheets for the beds. Students tell me learning while giving back to the community is an opportunity they will never forget. Well, not only are you learning how to build stuff, but you're also learning, like, life lessons and stuff like that. Reporting in Marshall County, Shosh Pedrosian, Way 31 News. What a great program. So far, Boaz Middle School has received some donations for the project, but are looking for more. Donations will be used to purchase plywood, mattresses, and sheets. New information an Alabama official is guilty of using.